I'm Dr. Tara Morgan from San Francisco, California, and today I'll be speaking on monochorionic twin pregnancies making the important findings. Most twin pregnancies are dizygotic, meaning they arise from two separate eggs. Um, so they form separately and have uh, two chorions and two amnions, so they're all dichorionic and diamniotic. Importantly, they also all have separate placentas and sacs. 30% of pregnancies are monozygotic, meaning they come from a single egg, which at some point divides. These pregnancies, depending on when the egg divides, can be dichorionic diamniotic, monochorionic diamniotic, which is what we're going to focus on today, or monochorionic monoamniotic. And importantly, monochorionic pregnancies share a placenta. So it's really important to determine the chorionicity because it affects the management of twins. And it's different for monochorionic twins than it is for diamnionic twins. So firstly, we monitor uh, monochorionic twin pregnancies every two weeks instead of every four weeks like we do starting at 16 weeks for dichorionic pregnancies. And monochorionic pregnancies overall have a higher rate of mortality and morbidity, they have a higher incidence of anomalies and likelihood of IUGR, and they particularly have unique monochorionic syndromes, which is really going to be the focus of today's talk. So in order to uh, take care of these patients appropriately, the best thing you can do is first accurately determine the chorionicity, and this is something that um, you uh, need to uh, take some time in learning how to do.